Welcome everyone to episode 18 of Empyrean Galactic Survival. Empyrean for noobs. I just can't get over how beautiful this is today. Look at that. Not a cloud in the sky. It's about noon-ish, I guess. Let's take a look at our batteries at 100%. Haven't checked it for a while. We haven't been home for a lot, so... I think today we're going to go back to the moon and uh, finish it off as far as the Xerax are concerned. Uh, we went ahead last episode and took out their drone base right off the bat. Yeah, uh, check my ammo. Okay, we're doing good there. We got good... Uh, Got some of my boom booms this time for uh, opening doors and what have you. Take a look at the small vessel ammo. We're going to need some more 15 mil. Couple of those. And some more of my rockets. That ought to do it. The uh, POIs that are left there aren't uh, anything compared to the drone base. cheeseburger. Now let's see, I do have my oxygen down there on button 6. Going to space. And let us refuel. And let's make sure we have some fuel, spare fuel. Go to space. There's the moon. Should keep an eye out for Xerax patrol vessels or Xerax uh, POIs up here in space. Um, they tend to be pretty pretty deadly. Usually bristling with laser cannons. I'll hit the I key so we can coast. Alright, we're coming up on here, so I'll hit the I key. So our ship can slow itself down. We're not coasting anymore. Don't want to slam into the surface. The uh, first cluster of POIs we're going to take on is a uh, an old cluster. It's been been around for quite a while in this game. Uh, it's been repurposed many times. Um, it used to be. Oop, looks like we're in a... Stuck in a... C-O-Q... Loop here. I'll be back as soon as I get back into the game. And we're back. Picked us up right where we left off, which is nice. Now those uh, loops happen every now and then. Usually they just go away if you hit continue. Apparently this particular um, error was bad enough that it wouldn't go away. Uh, 
and that's where we want to go. So I was saying this is a particular Xerox uh, collection, which is a uh, com uh, communications tower and um, radar station. used to be on your starter planet and was part of the storyline it still is part of the storyline but they um, removed it to the moon in any case it was a three-step uh, storyline there's a gun on there by the way just a regular gun. It doesn't really cause much, much damage. We want to check out the other two POIs. There they are. First we want to take out these uh, Defense posts. I think I'll concentrate on this one. This is the one with the guided rockets, so it should be our top priority. Uh, I think we killed its generator shooting at the base of it. Now this ion cannon. See, fairly easy to dodge these guys. Finally, if you look at our little radar map up at the top there, you can see it's still red, which means I haven't cored it, but coring it is relatively easy to do. There you go, see it turned white in the radar. Uh, the same thing goes with this one here. It's not shooting at us because we killed the um, killed its generators. Now we're going after its core. There we go. Turned white. So now we'll go over and take care of this ion cannon. Well, it's a good, good practice. Get rid of the defenses first. The radar station has no defenses. Neither does the communications tower. That's another case there where we destroyed either the uh, fuel tanks or the generator. Before the gun. There we go. It's cord. Eh, let's go core this one here. There's no drones around here, which is interesting. I wonder, since we destroyed the drone base, if they uh, despawned. Okay, 
that one turned white. Now, as far as sort of following the storyline goes, uh, you're supposed to attack this place first and go inside. There's a transporter, teleporter, I should say, that'll drop you off inside the radar station. That place is very large and loaded with lots and lots of baddies. And uh, there is a teleport station in there near the end of your battle, so to speak. Uh, that'll teleport you to that uh, floating computer station, the Xeno mainframe. Um, which is also loaded with baddies. And uh, you have to fight your way through that to get back. But uh, what I'm going to do, once again, since I'm familiar with these uh, POIs, there's only like two or three guys inside this one. I mean, it's really no big deal to go in and shoot them. Um, but I'm just going to use my ship. My light on. I need to find where the front door is. I know where the core is in relationship to where the front door is. Oh, there it is. There's the staircase. It's really a very small POI. I mean, it's not a big deal to run in and take it manually. There's not much in there. with the door to the right hand side. Uh, I believe the core is in that corner there. Unless I moved it. But we shall see. And actually it looks like the uh, these might be set to non-destructible now is fine. They do that a lot for the storyline POIs, so that uh, uh, you don't accidentally corrupt your storyline. Uh, let me make sure I have enough fuel. Yes, I do. Turn on my lights. Grab the trusty epic pulse rifle. Go in and say hi. Hello. Selling Girl Scout cookies. Anybody want some? Oop, there's a gun. Tell me you're non-destructible. Yeah, there's the core. Ah, there's the teleporter. You uh, go over here. This will take you to the radar station. So I think... to the radar station. Let's check it out. I want to make sure that it is also set to non-destructible. 
All right, where are you? To the south east. Let's see if this place is uh, set to non-destructible. I'm looking for the front door to this place. It's on the south side. These things are always seem to be oriented to cr one way only. I think I see it. Yeah, right there. All right. And that means the core is straight down from here. See if this place is still damageable. Good news, anyone? Yes, it is. this puppy from the outside. all the dents in that armored concrete. Oh, there it goes. The core is like one block below that. And I think it's really over there, but we were in the correct general vicinity of it. I don't see any drones, so I think we're safe to just come out here and park this thing. I'm going to hit the F4 and link it to our container controller. Grab our multi-tool, set it to salvage. Let's go to a looting. Go to Luton. It's a town in England, isn't it? Somehow these places are creepier when they're deserted like this. No lights on and it's dark. Though you don't have to listen to all the, the monsters moaning and groaning. That's a, that's a plus. That goes up to the roof. Hmm. More food packs. That's all that's up here. Look at that. It's our home. Okay, we have to 
keep an eye on our oxygen since we poured this place. There's no air to breathe in here. Uh, let's see, you don't want to go left or right. I'll go this way. This place up here, the, the lobby, so to speak, just goes in a big circle. Here's the teleporter that um, you come in on uh, from that comm station, which you can't destroy. You, you can teleport right into this room. And uh, I don't believe there's any spawners in here, so you're not immediately killed, which is nice. Very nice of them. I'm going to uh, salvage these. You can see what you can get from these. Look at that. 64 elemental pentaxid. That's all good stuff. Uh, the medic station. And let's see what goodies are in here. Magnesium. Remember to take the lights. I like to leave these guys in the dark. Take their lounge furniture. Take their big screen TV. No more cable for you. A lot of sniper rifles up here. Might must be the barracks of a sniper brigade. Oh, there's a laser rifle. Oh. All your beds. No sleeping for you. Sleep on the floor. Mmm, canned meat. I'll eat that now. Mess hall. Stuff will all probably go bad before we get back to the ship. Want to leave it running. When we get downstairs to the thick of looting. your light. Thank you. I forget your gun too. Alright. This place is clean upstairs. Now downstairs. This is where all the cr majority of the creepy critters live. old school spawners here. If this was a more up-to-date base, they would be invisible spawners. Just to mess with you. Mm-hmm. 
Take those LCD panels. Veggie burger. Through. Oh, I should have. All right. This is clean. Another one of those uh, layouts where you're down the long hallway, go over, come down another long hallway. Long hallway full of monster spawners and sentries. shoot. These guns can get you all the way from down here. As soon as you come in the door, they can be shooting at you. is the room with all the generators and fuel tanks. So, a lot of good junk to be had here. Grab the fuel. I believe this place has a pretty good amount. Well, let's see. Do I have any of the small ones? Yeah, 366. Let's see how much we pick up. Or four. So about the 60. 40, I mean. That's not a lot. There's a lot of spawners in this room. Generators on the way out, I suppose. Well, maybe get them now. I don't think I'll come back through this room. It's a long way. After you cord to place and you got your little zapper, your salvage tool, you can just go right through the walls. No need to take the long way around. All 
right. Lots and lots of... Containers. Everything that's not nailed down. Shift key and press the left mouse button. The tab key. Hit that up there. Let's uh, eat something here. Something that is going to go bad quickly. Uh, let's see, we got everything there. Let's grab that. Grab the LCD screens. And that. sensor there. Probably a gun that pops out somewhere. Now, just for your information, the core is just like one block back here. It actually lived right here. Uh, we killed it with a, you know, a blast. Uh, the blast damage from the rockets blew it up. You can also kill it if you come down here manually and put uh, a couple of these on the wall here. The blast damage will also destroy it. It is the only way to get to this thing here. Surrounded with armored concrete. Uh, you could use up 20 of those boomers to actually destroy uh, the armored concrete to get to that thing. Whereas if you get the core, it gets right to it. But there's nothing in it. I think they do that... Uh if you do core the place remotely... Yeah, let's see. It's everything here. Let's continue our little jaunt around the inside of this pillar room. There's a whole other section to this place over there that we'll have to get to. Hidden spawner there. That one drove me nuts the first time I went through here. And there's guys popping up from it. nowhere that I could see. Took me ages to find that. Ah, never ending corridors of guns here. You could sort of jump right to the end and go through there. But, uh, we're looting, so... You see, there's just tons 
a sentry guns in here. Various plants down here. Like they're all different. If we had put a core down, we could uh, grab these plants. Hole. Guns. Take this room out. This is a, I think it's supposed to be a shooting range. Sort of looks like a shooting range, doesn't it? Usually has those little white robots running around in it. This goes up to that final room there. It all goes to the same place, really. I'm just going around. Finish off this hallway. This is pretty much the final room. That uh, hole there is when we came in. That long curved hallway, that's uh, the shortcut, so to speak. A lot of empty containers in here. way here. If you've been throwing the switches as you go along, this is the teleporter that takes you up to the um, Xeno mainframe, the third part of this little journey. everything right. down here cut through here you don't have to take that long corridor around anymore and we can come out here and get out of here that is the radar station see by the reflections on the wall that uh, the sun has come up Take care of the Xenu mainframe. It's 
towards the north west. East. That's a pretty nifty looking crater there, isn't it? Okay, Zeno Wayne Train, where are you? There you are. Gonna have to do something about that comma ray, you know. Can't really get rid of it. It's just non-destructible. Well, let's take care of that gun first. This guy in the this is a three level base and the core is on the middle level and I do believe it's right in this way Windows are able to be shot out. Or it's inside, surrounded by these blocks. Let's see if we can get it. It's just possible that it's indestructible. It is set to indestructible. Let's see if we can get through these doors here. The answer to that is no, we cannot. Those windows are breakable. Sort of stuck here. I was stuck there for a second. Bunch of little robots. 
robots there. Cute little white robots. Broken glass on the outside here. guys down there. Are you feeling left out? There's another little lonely robot. very handy being able to wipe these guys out from the outside. The trick is, since they did make this thing invulnerable, can't really get that door open, can I? I think every pane of glass that is cracked like that is breakable this place down. Must be some more generators somewhere else. Alright. I think I was going to look at coming in here. Just bypassing that door altogether. Before I do that, however, let me go down to the ground. Make sure I'm coming out of my cockpit straightly. There we go. Whoop! Too far. I got there's uh, lower gravity here. little robot, come back. I want to kill you. Why is my ship going down? Am I too heavy? No, I'm not too heavy. I 
wonder if I can park in there. I got enough fuel here. Grab our wee opens. There's some robots. Claire, robots. to see if this place has any uh, switches to destroy the core. Core is right in there. Been set to invulnerable. see any switches here. that stuff later if we're able to do the core hi guy did you get stuck in there poor guy I will end your boredom Feel sorry for them sometimes, you know. I see a little white light over here. There's our whole ship hovering. And yes, there is a switch here. it'll do, I do not know. I think that's everything up here. There's one other level up on top. That's right, set to invulnerable. At least they still let you shoot the guns. Awfully nice of them. Loot what we can here. Somebody breaking into my ship? I hear an alarm. 
We can't grab the fuel because we can't kill the car. Well, that's nice. Titanium rods are always worth the trip. Are there any other switches around? Usually a place like this that has an admin core has a... self-destruct switch for the core. Oh, just for jollies, let's try... Let's see if a boom boom will do anything. Right there. Oh, it won't do nothing. If you look on your, um, on the map, all the POIs with the chevron icon, uh, those are admin cores, which means they're undestructible. It's too bad because all these computers have a lot of good junk in them. Lots of, uh, computers and electronics. What? Say la vie. You spoke French. <laughs> We've done what we wanted to do here. More or less. Get one last parting shot here. I hate those admin cores. Because they allow this to happen. We can't get rid of their territory. That sucks. Big time. But for now, let's head on home. And here we are, right above our home. Victuals away, real quick here. Or they go bad. Right, I believe that's everything. And, uh, proctory input. In some ways, we got lucky that the, uh, Radar station was still a normal POI and not an admin POI. We were able to get some looting done. is nice. Picked up a lot of these emergency rations. I think we have enough there for ever. Well, let's see. So I'll take our ammo here. Bandages.
med kits and stuff goes into the deconstructor I still have plenty of that stuff to sell so no reason to clutter up everything with it Structure. Structure input. Yep, all the little bits and bobs. Everything helps. Alright, that's it. Looks like we spent a whole day. Uh, the noon sun is there again. I think I'll call it a day. I think next time we'll um, do some trading. Let's go trade with the Polaris. We've got enough junk. Um, we'll trade with them, see what that's all about. That's for next time. As always, thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you again tomorrow.